Then I had to think back to myself. I was like, damn, I don't own doggy style. I don't own a dog father. Then my first two records, that's like my, my two feet to stand on. So I'm like, I gotta figure out how to get that shit back. So for many months and shit, I tried to position myself as a businessman to go try to work it off. Like, you know, the people that had it, hey, let me come work for y'all and, you know, <clears throat> position myself to get my shit back through labor. Right. And then they wanted me to be a hoe. <laughs> so, you know, the pimping, fuck y'all. I'm finna go over here to Dev Jam and learn a little bit of corporate work because I don't know corporate yet. Right, right. I only need a few months. Right. You give me a few months around the shit, I'm, <clears throat> learning. I'm a fast learner. Go to Dev Jam, get a job in a position, drop a record, get Benny the Butcher signed, get Hip Hop Harry signed, learn a few tricks of the trade, find out that the niggas that had it that wanted me to hold for them, then sold it to some other people. Hmm. So now, one of my big wig buddies called me and said, hey dog, I know the people that got death row, and they don't know what to do with it. Mm. Mm. Let me holler mm. at him. Mm. I know just what to do with it. So I hit them and like, let me um, let me work for y'all. The play was cool, but it's like, yeah, fuck that. How much for, how much to buy this shit? What you talking about? How much to buy death row first? How much for my masters? How much for all of the masters? How much for sure publishing? Give me all that shit. It's a stick up. <laughs> <laughs>